Welcome back to the channel for another Victory at Sea unboxing. I'm trying to round out my uh, US Navy fleet to go with my Japanese fleet so we can start having whatever battles I decide that to have. I have started, I have gotten a couple of quick, just kind of trying to learn the game myself games in, but um, just trying to also at the same time round out my fleet before I start doing battle reports and things like that. So we're going to open up the US Navy submarines and MTV sections. If you watched my um, Japanese Navy submarines and MTV sections, you'll know that I wasn't crazy in the price. Um, still not. I think this is probably of all of the um, expansions for the game. These are probably the least value expansions out there, but they are something that you need if you want to have everything for your fleet. So, um, you know, it is what it is. So let's open it up, see what we get, and we'll talk about it a little bit at the end. Alright, so why don't we look at the models first. So, so as expected, there are no metal bits for these. They are just single cast molds. This is the darker resin. Although these, I mean, other than the big bits that we have to snip off the ends. The molds look fine for what they are. They are tiny little models. So we get two different types of MTV sections. So this is the Elko 77 foot PT boat. I don't know the exact difference between each one off the top of my head. They, these don't look to be as significantly different as the ones that I got in the Japanese. And this is an Elko 80 foot PT boat, so it's three feet longer. I'm sure there's other differences in terms of their capabilities, but that's all I have for you right now. I'm not gonna look up in the rule book exactly what all the differences are. But you can see they're nice molds for what they are, tiny, tiny little boats. And then we have three submarines. These are Gato class submarine. And I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. It could be Gato, Gato class or Gato class. Very similar to the Japanese subs, obviously slight differences in the moldings, but size and everything else is very similar. And these were packed to us by Leva. Let's see. Leva, her, uh, or his credit. And then we'll look at what we get for cardboard. These look like they were packed by DJ. DJ, we have our damage sliders, we have our Warlord resin kits, and that appears to be it. And then we have our cards, so our three submarine cards. We don't get cards for the MTV boats, They, the rules for those are like flights, they're in the rule book. Try and zoom in on this a little bit. Okay, so our Gato class submarine, it's obviously a submarine. It's flank speed of four and two, so that is the difference between surfaced and submerged. 
armor of two, hull of five and two. It's agile and submersible, so um, this one will get to turn quite a bit, um, at least while it's surfaced. Um, we do have one three inch light gun, um, one attack dice minus two to um, armor piercing, one damage dice, it's slow loading and weak. Not really sure what you're going to be looking to get out of that. Um, again, I think like the Japanese subs, if you're a surface, then that one merchant ship needs that one more um, hull point to go down. I, I suppose you take the pot shot with it, but it's not going to do um, a lot for you otherwise. A battery starts at local one. And then we have our torpedoes, which is why we take submarines. So we have forward and aft torpedoes. Um, the forward, we get six attack dice and two damage dice. They're devastating and slow loading. Um, in the aft, we get four attack dice, um, two damage dice, devastating and slow loading. So it, it's a little bit nice that we have both the four forward and the aft. I want to say with the Japanese we only had forward, I believe, but I could be mistaken about that. Um, by having the forward and the aft, um, if you shoot um, out of the forward torpedoes and they don't get the ship, and then you pass by the ship, um, you can take a parting shot, which would be nice. And then on the back we have our refits. So it gives us a number of the names of the ships along with 73 more. So there were a lot of these in service. Um, in terms of refits, we have radar and sub hunter for plus 15. In um, 43, we replace our Mark 14 torpedoes with 24 torpedoes decreases the range but increases the damage dice to 3 for 15 points. That seems reasonable. I mean, um, I th think having the extra damage dice is something that you would want, even though you have to get um, a bit closer. The, um, the range bands are 1, 3, 4, and 6, and this is, reduces it to 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, I mean, it's not tremendously different but um, you do have to get closer to get into um, that close range. Point blank range is the same. Then in 44, we replace the 24 torpedoes with Mark 18 torpedoes, um, adding the weakless trait for plus 10 points. I am not a submarine expert in this game, so I'm not sh exactly sure what the weakless trait gets us, um, so I'm not going to guess at that is in terms of whether that is good points to spend or not. But that's it. It's a quick unboxing today. Um, we've got our submarine, submarines and our MTB boats for uh, Victory at Sea for our U.S. Navy fleet. Um, thank you very much for watching. Have fun. Paint up some ships. And we'll see you next time.